SUNY ESF students Jeffrey Eckelin and Dan Zangieri are spending the summer cruising the St. Lawrence River in a battle against a new virus that threatens the multi-million dollar recreational fishing industry. They're working out of ESF's Thousand Islands Biological Station, located on Governor's Island near the village of Clayton, New York. Every day, they and others check 16 nets, surveying the river's diverse population on the lookout for any fish afflicted with VHS. They work under the direction of Dr. John Farrell. Uh, VHS is viral hemorrhagic septicemia. It's uh, a class of viruses called rhabdoviruses. They're these bullet-shaped viruses. Um, you know, what's, what's unique about it is that it is a freshwater isolate to the Great Lakes, so it's recently mutated from a marine form. So it's a brand new genetic lineage that uh, arrived via mutation um, in this system. One of the carriers is the round goby, a central Eurasian invasive species, and smallmouth bass like to eat them. One of the interesting trade-offs that's been observed is that the, the round goby has become a principal prey item in the food web, so the fish species are really um, increasing condition at an alarming rate. So they're, they're getting um, quite, quite a bit of lipid stores, and they're, the fish are just fat. They look like footballs. A thought echoed by Echolin. We're seeing huge smallmouth bass in the, in the system, but at the same time, because goby have such high viral titers, the bass are being exposed to the virus at pretty high levels as compared to other species. And the round goby keep dying. As you can see off the boat, the, the, the bottom of the St. Lawrence in the past few days is actually littered with dead round gobies, um, which I suspect is another uh, viral outbreak. So far, no heavy mortality among the smallmouth bass, but ESF researchers are seeing problems with another big sport fish, the muscalunge. The muskie is another species that has not only been shown to carry VHS, but has also shown significant mortality responses. Aggressive muscalunge conservation efforts and habitat restoration produce some very encouraging results. Researchers netted 40 musky spawners in 2003, but the arrival of VHS has marked a dramatic downward spiral in the numbers. Still, Dr. Farrell is trying to remain hopeful. In terms of the, the VHS response, we really don't know enough about it to make any projections about what its impact is going to be at this time. But obviously, we're, we're very concerned about, uh, about the recent trends that we've seen.